Hi guys, thank you if you've joined me. Um, I'm just going to rough turn a couple of these little bolts. These are the ones I was using yesterday to find the centres on. I've drilled it for a worm screw. I've mounted one on. Um, I'm just going to rough turn them. They're still a bit damp these, they're, they're uh, bits of ash. I'm going to rough turn it to a little bowl pot shape. So I'm doing that and I'm going to be using one of my old, I've got some brilliant tools uh, spindle gouges but I still like to get these old ones out now and again um, this is between 70 and 80 years old this spindle gouge and I like using these as well they make fantastic tools for doing these bowls and that's what I'm doing so I thought you might like to join me I thought I'd just video it and let you see how it goes so I'm going to start up and make a few cuts All right. Finishing it because, like I said, it is um, it's still a little bit wet. It's wood, got a little line now. Just gonna take that out. There we go, lovely. Right, we're gonna just pop this back out of the way, bring it round, just take this off. Just so it doesn't get in the way when it goes into the stuff. There we go. That's how that looks. Uh, I've still got a couple of those little holes there. I thought that had gone. That's not bothering me because that's on the tenner. I'll be getting rid of that. But that's a little, oh yeah, still. They go really deep, some of those little. It's a shame, really, because you lose so much of your bowl. But they go pretty deep. I couldn't actually feel it. Normally you'd feel them. I didn't feel it. Right, let's do that tenon again. That'll do. Right, that's it. That should be the rough turn. Sorry about that guys. I thought I'd got rid of them. Yeah, that one's on the foot. That's just gonna go away, that would be all right. Slight dent there. Still a bit of a crack there. Mm, yeah, I'll take that off and I'll see how it goes, how it lasts. If it's got to go much smaller, I don't really want it. I'll just get rid of it. This is a bit of a wind, out, wind down time for me. I've been working all day. See, it's these, these big, chunks that have been put into this wood and it's uh yeah not nice really oh, there you go you don't know what you're going to get until you turn it do you there we go I'm bringing this up just for now because it's i like to turn nice and fast just gives me a bit of extra security i know nothing's going to go anywhere i say most important thing is making sure your piece is mounted correctly 
Right, let's see what this one does then. feel a bit there yeah look they're going quite deep that's a shame isn't it right we'll take another cut we'll have to just go down a bit smaller with it i put a smaller tenon on this one holes on that bit there's a little couple on that foot that's going to be all right so I'll be gripping that so that shouldn't be what well, I might take it down a fraction on that get to solid wood there we go back in your foot see how that dry I'm gonna just leave them like this I'm not hollowing them at the moment so I decide what I actually want to do with them um, it's just my way of winding down at the end of the day I like to put a few little blanks on and just fast turn them so but not bad for a, a tool that's like 78 years old there you go don't disregard old tools guys cheap as anything when you buy them on eBay right to the pit <laughs> 